One build, six people. Who will you choose? another mega build battle the theme of the build battle is going to be a dream bedroom today we are going to be having six people including myself building not everyone is here right now but they'll be joining in as we are building because of different time zones everyone will have their very own 8x8 area they will be building in as you see someone just disappeared and they'll be joining in pretty soon again we will first start by giving everyone a co-owner. Now it's time to take a look at the rules. The rules are simple. Only build inside your 8x8 area. The theme is to make your dream bedroom, no bathroom included. Do not copy anyone else's build. Exterior of the build does not count, but you're welcome to decorate it if you would like. Maximum of two floors are allowed, no time limit, and finally, have fun. I think we are ready to go. Who's ready? Make sure to stay by till the end to watch the tours and tell us in the comments whose room you like the best. Let's get into build mode! So now what we have to do is pick a square. As you can see, someone already started building, but we're gonna pick a square and color the square to your preference so we know whose is who. I'm going to be going with a light green. Ready, set, build! So I didn't really have an idea of how I was going to really build my dream bedroom. I have like an overall idea of what I want inside of it. Like I want a gaming computer, I wanted like a little wall with some pandas, and I've always wanted a bay window. Um, so I kind of decided to go with like a loft type of bedroom I guess, with like double floors. At this point, everyone started building and I was the one who started last, but I ended up finishing up really quickly and really liking it. So I just went with it and I kind of went with an aesthetic type of theme and of course I added tons of plants. Over here I added in a small little closet space and I just went with that. here is like a decal image thing of pandas and I thought it was absolutely adorable. I would totally want this in a room of mine if I had it. I know it's a little quote unquote childish but it's adorable so I would want it in my room if I could. Now I'm going up to the loft area and I don't really want a loft in my dream bedroom, but it would also be cool to have. I just wanted a bay window, but with the ideas that I had for the rest of the downstairs, it wouldn't be enough space. I don't know, ask my mom, I've always said I wanted a bay window and we don't have any in my house, so I never got one. And yeah, I thought it would be really cool. Like, imagine it thunderstorming, it raining, and you're just sitting there reading a book. I'm not a huge fan of books, but I'd read a book if I had a bay window. <laughs> Over 
over here, I added in a candle and a plant because it gave a more cozy like feeling. idea what type of textures that I wanted for the wall the coloring so as you will see I play around with color and textures a lot while I build and the end result I ended up liking it I just wish I added in a tiny bit more texture to the wall but I felt like it didn't really fit at the same time so yeah <laughs> I decided to make this area like a little gaming setup. I don't have my gaming setup in my bedroom actually. Um, I'm actually downstairs in my basement and that's where my gating gaming setup is but it would be really awesome if I was able to have a gaming setup in my bedroom. Imagine waking up and just going to the computer. That's probably not healthy <laughs> now that I think of it but it would be cool. I don't know. I feel like it would be cool and just have like an aesthetic like room. So I added in the three monitor PC that you're gonna see me add in pretty soon because they had no two monitor. <laughs> and I also added in these shelves on the wall for like a bookcase where I could put my stuff and yeah. <laughs> So over here, I added in a little closet area because I need a place to put my clothes other than the big closet area. So it's like, I don't know, it's like a tiny little place where I could put like jewelry and stuff like that. I tried adding in these shelves to occupy more space. Is occupy the right word? Probably not, but to fill up more space. Uh, I ended up not liking it and just changing it around and removing them. But yeah, I just tested it, saw I didn't like it and yeah. I also wanted a standing mirror for a very long time. So I added in that in the corner of the little wardrobe like area. Love is like the phases of the moon mm -hmm. And I know You would say I gave up way too soon mm -hmm.
got kicked out out of nowhere so i had to end up inviting her and i told her that we were behind the pizza place and she came over here bringing pizza saying i brought you a piece of pizza and i'm like what <laughs> I don't really know what I could add into the bookshelves so I added in some books of course plants and it kind of filled it up and made it look cute I added in a little candle and yeah like a skylight would be really awesome in a bedroom so i added in like natural lighting right over here i ended up really liking how it turned out so i kept it now imagine having a skylight in your bedroom whoever does literally you're so lucky <laughs>
over here, I just added in a tiny mirror, some decorations. This was actually my favorite part of the build. I don't know why, don't ask me why, but I felt like it was so aesthetically pleasing, like the perfumes. And then I added in um, a rose vase, I think. I don't know, a plant? Yes, that. And it looks so good. That was like my favorite part of the build. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm going back inside and adding in some lights. I'm making sure it's not too bright because I don't want so much white light because it hurts my eyes when I'm inside of it. Over here, I wanted like this cute little stepping stool, but I didn't know what to do with this area. So I added in a couch at first. I ended up not liking that and I switched it into a hammock and I like the hammock 10 times better, even though I'd probably not have a hammock in my dream bedroom, but I felt like it fit well, so I just went with it. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome if you had a hammock in your room though.
So over here, I'm just adding in some finishing touches so it doesn't look so empty. I ended up not liking the carpet, so I took it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know what time it is? It's your favorite time and mine. It's tour time. Let's get right to it. Sometimes I say that I want you back, but I don't know if I do. Sometimes I think about the good days we had, but they were bad days too. And I know love is like the phases of the moon. Thank you. 
well guys thank you so much for watching the video let us know down below in the comments who you think won if you would like to participate in a future mega build battle make sure to follow the social medias down below in the description and also join my discord server bye everybody and a big thank you to everyone who participated in it i'll see you next time panda girl is out bye if you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be a part of the Pandawana Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out! Bye!